Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I hold loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my website, bethroars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, please do head over to my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash bethroars, where you can get some more exclusive content and early access to my podcast, in which I interview some of the people that I react to. So I'm excited. I've really enjoyed the interviews, so I hope that you do as well. This one is super nostalgic for me, as it is for many people. It's also a really interesting one because it's in 1972 and around the end of 1973, Robert Plant had vocal surgery. It isn't well known as to why, although the rumours are nodules, and I haven't listened to this version of it, so... I'm going to be interested to see if I can pick up on anything that he might be doing that would contribute towards it. Or it might be in really, really good shape at this point and it might have been later on. So I'm, I'm really interested. But this style of singing is hard. It's difficult. If there's any tension in there, if there's any excessive air pressure, these are all things that contribute towards nodules. So let's have a listen. So far, so good. I mean, for me, so far, so good. That top stuff was all head voice, really forward place, really twangy in a nice, healthy, not pushed place. And the na 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 na, that stuff there. Na. Okay, so that's just on the break. It sounds very, very stable, though. Sounds great. I love what he's doing with all these little scoops and slides that echo the sounds of the guitars. I know there's a lot of singers who do that. If you look at Muse or you look at Tom York, this comes from these guys the, he, and his singing, his style of singing. I would have actually said there was like a tiny, tiny bit of tension and I've heard versions of this where it's been like a bit more like punchy. So that may be a slight early sign. It may have just been that day. And this guy had like a crazy, crazy lifestyle. So that's not going to help. Things that I would say if you are worried about this that you should look out for is how well you're breathing. This is something that people forget about but you need a lot of elasticity in your rib cage because your rib cage, when you go to make a sound, mm, takes some of the shock of the air. So you might feel it if you put your hands here mm, and then make a noise. Mm, you might feel it just kind of pulsate. That is good. That's what you want. You want it to take some of that shock and take it away from your vocal cords. <laughs> This is so easy here. And the high stuff. I love that yodel as well. Off 
often what people think as well is that it's this high stuff that causes issues and it isn't it's actually often to do with the middle part of your voice where you go over that bridge over that break if you're not mixing effectively if you're pushing your chest voice that's something that can contribute if you're pushing too much air through that can really contribute to things to nasty things like polyps and nodules and Obviously, you have to be really careful as to your diet and keeping hydrated and all these other things and just singing on it every day. Just be careful. Be careful with your voice. Be kind to it and your voice will respond. You will feel if something's wrong. Trust your body. I love the contrast between the staccato and then the scoops. Ah, you just want to get involved. Contrasting rhythms are so like... Ugh. I don't know how you'd even dance to it. You'd be like... Aah. The best type of dancer. Let's go mad. Wow, it's so much fun. I love that. He's so iconic. His use of staccato and legato and scoops and the way he sounds like the guitar. So many people have been influenced by his style of singing. However, it's not massive. You can hear a little bit his voice doesn't have the same punch as perhaps some of his earlier days. Maybe that was early, early signs of nodules. It could have been just a not as good day as some other days it's not terrible in any way whatsoever I just wonder that if he'd looked after himself and his voice maybe he could have continued that great sound for a longer time however whatever anyone says he is a fantastic a fantastic legendary singer Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.